anthropologists <coughs> said, please don't call it that. <laughs> you know, call it by its name. It has different names depending on what country it came from. This one I bought in uh, Zimbabwe, it's called an Mbira. So when it is in uh, Ghana, Kalimba, Sasafone, uh, Sanza, in different places. So these are all versions of the instrument. It's played all over, you can see the gourd is there as a sound chamber. In this case, it comes out. This one I purchased in South Africa. This gourd is attached to the back. And then this one actually sits over in a really huge gourd, which I uh, did not bring because it, to travel with it is amazing. And so now I want you to listen to the, the rhythm of the song. Remember, it begins with the habanero rhythm. So it goes. Dun, dun, dun. circle had its own musicians and each circle had its own dancers so there were dancers inside as well as musicians inside of those circles but those people who were standing around were not just standing like this right they were also participating singing and calling and responding and taking board rattles like this playing musical instruments and replacing the dancers when they became exhausted so there was no audience and performance say you know, everybody performed. And that's true in African traditions everywhere. There's no distinction between the audience and the performance. It's a community, it's a um, effort and interaction. So circles are varied in numbers. Some, some um, travelers, and I rely heavily on the travelers accounts because they were so amazed, northerners, when they came down and saw this on Sunday afternoons that they wrote about it in their journals. One um, traveler wrote, everybody should see Congress Square, at least once. He said they would never forget it nor regret it. <laughs> so, yeah. so it was a tourist attraction very early, early on. And I contend that you know people are still coming here looking for Congo Square. Yeah. Freddie, would you comment on the dance traditions we do today, historically? What kind of relationships you found in your research? <laughs> so <laughs> 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 
Not only do I have the names of the dances in this book, but I also have dance descriptions. And remember I talked about um, Benjamin Latrobe, who actually entered some of those circles and sketched the musical instruments that he saw. He also wrote very uh, detailed, or more detailed than most people, uh, descriptions of the dances. And in some of those circles, he talked about ladies with handkerchiefs uh, in a line, dancing around the inside of the circle. Reminds us of what? Oh, 